Ah, uh, welcome everyone to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness Zombies! Wahahaha! <laughs> so, guys, we are back here in this awesome episode where today I will be talking about a couple things. One, we did a couple things in Canada which are pretty awesome, like taking over Quebec. And I know I keep mentioning this in every single episode, but I think that's awesome. We took Quebec. That is awesome. And I've been also thinking about new expansion opportunities now that we have, you know, the world's starting to resettle itself and the world's starting to look like a proper, you know, actual world. Um, I think I'm going to go after Cuba. <laughs> I think Cuba is logically the next place I should conquer. Like, it's a second day power, but it has absolutely no alliances and, frankly, it would look nice as a new America. I mean, look at that. Can't you guys just imagine that? Just USA. USA. I mean, it would just fit. It just honestly fits. So that's what we're going to go after. And um, I also got some militaristic stuff I'm doing. going to build an entirely new army. Going to get some steamer ships because my previous ships have died. What else? Uh, my money situation, not necessarily the best right now. I'm dealing with all those new people that just arrived from like, I don't know. I don't know what their names are, but they just arrived from that uh, country that we just invaded. I don't remember their names. Hmm, anyways, <laughs> they came, so we're going to have to deal with that, and then we also have a, like, a massive amount of subsidies we're doing right now. I'm going to take a quick look around to make sure that this is, like, you know, legal, or well, not legal, I'm going to make sure that these guys can actually support themselves, because some factories just will not grow, even if you try to help them, so I'm just seeing which ones that are really going to be profitable and which ones aren't. See, like this one right here, this one's not going to be profitable no matter what I do in the future. And if this one's failing right now, it's not worth it. Like, I love the fact that my, you know, capitalists like to expand, but since they sometimes expand really stupidly, you sometimes have to step in and do a lot of stuff. And they have lots of projects, holy shoot! That is a ton of projects they're doing. So, let's see, what are the two things costing us the most in terms of subsidies? Uh, wait, we have to give it one turn. Okay. Now, what's the most things that are costing us? 224, a uh, steamer shipyard in Georgia. I think that was a steamer shipyard we were just looking at. Um, yeah. Yeah, this thing's costing us a fortune. It's not making us any money and will not make us any money. So, there's no point in having it around. So, we're just going to close it, save our losses, and not have to deal with it. Um, other things, this is kind of weird. I don't know why you would put a canned factory in Iowa. That just doesn't make sense. They make potatoes. They don't make cows and fish and grain. In fact, I'd question the, the borders of Iowa of, oh, no wait, that's not, that's Idaho, isn't it? That was Idaho, right? Right? No, that's Iowa. I was right. Yes, I was completely right. I'd question the sanctity of why there were fish in Iowa. Oh, yeah. And somebody, and now somebody in the comments is going to be like, well, I live in I I live in Iowa and we do have this many fish. I'm like, I just don't really care. <laughs> Just let the joke, just let the joke happen, okay? Just let the joke happen. Okay, it seems like the socialists are starting to gain prevalence in America. As we know from history standpoints, we will not let that happen, and we will probably, you know, destroy them without a cause. Um, the fact that the world, that our taxes are hurting us so much is really kind of bad, but, um, I think our main problem is this, is this, like, 17. 17 like expense, but the only thing I don't understand about this is where are we getting most of this natural stockpile of purchases? I think this is really really where a lot of it comes from we can actually lower this because a zombie horde has You know strangely not kicked up in fact for like the last three episodes. I don't think I really thought of the horde Oh, no, oh those are Guamillion rebelists. Yeah, they can rebel. I don't really care. Yeah, we could go send- our government still stands. We will go send- a, if we want to go send dangerous investigations to new lands, we are, by law, allowed to! Yeah! America. Okay, so, Cuba, you guys- you guys are increasing your relationships with me, aren't you? To try to make sure we don't kill you. That's actually really smart, but I really want to kill you, so please stop. <laughs> like, seriously, please stop. I want to be able to, uh, justify a war with you. So let's go conquer Cuba! Yeah! Cuban cigars would be really nice, and I instantly gain enough infamy to almost kill me. But again, like I said in this game, I don't really care. <laughs> it's 
in this, in this, honestly, this game, Infamy is the one thing I never have to worry about. If I wanted to, I could go on a massive conquest spree. And let me just, like, move my troops over there. Move my ships, my newly constructed ships, the shore. We're going to need a new invasion army, so I'll probably use the Haitian army to go invade them. Because the Haitian army's, well, frankly, pretty good. They've already done one in island invasion, so why won't they do another? So, yeah. Uh, we have massive amounts of good money. I'm glad, because I was hoping that we could... Holy shoot, that's a lot of tabs. I just remember what I was doing. Okay, let's get back to about th three tabs, because otherwise I'll destroy my economy. Having more higher tabs, yeah, it's going to hurt me for a little bit. But I just don't think the tabs are going to be effective. I mean, that just hurts my economy even more. And my economy is something that helps us out through the long thing. And long live USA! Montreal has already adapted the American ways. Oh, good job, Montreal! I knew you were one of us! Yeah! Okay, now let's get this sea borders right here. Get all my ships right over there. Okay, let's get some of these ships right there. And get them over here. And more troops, more troops, more troops. We'll go send them over here. This is like my national meeting place for almost everywhere. Phoenix. Like, if there's any troops that we don't, that are needed to meet up somewhere, Send them to Phoenix. The hot desert will do them good. Okay, so let's send these this artillery over here, and there we go. Continuing on with America in the zombie apocalypse. And mining outputs have now increased. That should help us a little bit with our econ. econ. Uh, let's see. Business. So we need more attack infantry. No, factory input efficiency tech. That should help us just a little bit with factories. Holy shoot, that made our money go up by a lot. That is good. Let's see, I will, I think we can finally get to 0% tariffs. That will be like increasing my, oh. Come on, Cap, please let me let do 0% tariffs, yes! And prisons! As the 19th century dawned on Europe, Europe is dead. The practice of jailing people who default on their debts was still norm. In England, it's dead. Infamous examples of such institutions, the poorest prisons was probably overrun by zombies. Included England's fleet prison. In these institutions, the betas were not seldom expected to pay for both board and room, sometimes even special jailers' fees, to effectively pay for the jailers for their upkeep. Oftentimes, the practices are served to further complicate the debater's financial situation, as if for natural reasons it is hard to earn money from s inside a bank wall. The system was gradually abandoned in most European countries because it was overrun by zombies. Throughout the 19th century, and Lo London's fleet prison was torn down in 1846 because of zombies. And a wrongly jailed American aristocrat is now drawing public attention in these institutions to try to reconquer the USA. Yada yada yada. We get it. Okay, just let's go with that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh man, they're coming for us, everyone! Those Cubans are coming for us! I know we know how those Cubans are coming for us! They're coming for our land, they're coming for our women, they're coming for our, our corn! They're coming for us! Ah! Okay. Uh, prospector. Okay, so let's get these guys over here, and I actually need to actually move all my people from the supply limit, because we need to get better supply limit. Albuquerque! Oh, I love, oh, I love Albuquerque. Let's move all my troops to Albuquerque. Yeah, I'm just gonna move them all to Albuquerque. I love that place. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna move my ships all the way over here. I'm now officially allowed to go annex Cuba, which I'm going to casually gonna go do. Once I get the last little ships to my uh, yard I'm building down in Haiti. Let me just move these guys down. Okay, and they my little cotton fields. We send some to our neighbors. That's just what that's just what our mom and daddy taught us. Okay, so we got 12 ships right here. Let's put them all together. All right, that should be enough. Let me just see. Let's just see. Yep, should be enough. Okay. And Cuba, as I know from previous experience, actually has an army. What the heck? Okay, let me go check out this army before I go send in my troops. Huh. 20 Cuban nationalists, that is way more than I thought they would have. Hmm. Seems like they actually, I'll have to actually transport more troops. Wow, Cuba, props to you for actually raising an army, but seriously, you're still gonna die. Time to go conquest, let's go kill Cuba. Yeah, you guys are completely authoritarian, I cannot allow that. Let's just go right here to Jaguar. 
and wickedness must be stamped out. Do 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 wickedness must be stamped out. Okay, got troops there. Go pick up some more troops because apparently these guys actually have an army. <laughs> I was expecting just to fight like maybe like five thousand troops. They actually they have a they actually have an army. That's more army than I ever saw the uh, USC USCA ever have. I mean seriously, that's pretty sad. Like the strongest power. That's almost. I feel like that's almost an army that could fight Mexico. Heck, I was thinking Cuba would be a good ally. Gosh, what the heck happened? Okay, that's just weird. Okay, so we got our first piece of land. Um, you guys get on the boats. I'm gonna transport you guys here, and then from there we're gonna do a massive conquest via Cuba. We're gonna attack from both two ends. Okay, the lesser troops go that way. No, you guys go that way, and then the more troops go that. The lesser troops go that way. The more troops go that way. Long live the USA! Yay! And we're just gonna keep doing USA stuff, and the rebels should die. Yep, they should die. And now we just conquer, conquer, conquer. The Cuban invasion is almost done, and it hadn't even begun. Just want to point that out. And the last little bits so of rebels will, will. Oh, that's kind of ironic. Santiago de Cuba, the place where actually the real Cuban rebellion was fought and won by the American people. That's really quite funny with Theodore Roosevelt. That's. <laughs> That's really quite funny, actually, now that I think about that. <laughs> okay, and there's any rebels in my land, because I really don't need any, like, uh, evil zombies to try to get my land again. I have an army right here, just in case that horde tries to do anything. And all these soldiers are right here on Cuba. Excellent! Whatever that excellent was, it was excellent. Okay, and Cuba is now gone. Cuba, you guys are going to have to admit to my will. Annex Cuba! Yeah! Look at that! Annex Cuba, yeah, America. So let's go send. <laughs> this this is gonna be a lot of America in this series, isn't there? Okay, let's go send these soldiers back. Actually, I'll go send them to my new Haiti. They'll be my new ha Haitian troops. So we need like a new army in Haiti because I always want to make sure my islands are guarded by extensive amounts of care because sometimes it could end badly. By the way, I think I was going bankrupt in this entire time, and I did not know this until just now. I will admit it, there's sometimes a chance I may be aloof at some things. And that steamer shipyard in New York is failing quite epically, so I'm gonna go shut it down. So, New York, New York, New York. Uh, not intentionally trying to sing a song either. New York. Yeah, this, this is not gonna, this is not gonna fly. Just shut it down. Yeah, there we go. Got, enough, got a good enough amount of money. Spain wants an alliance with me again. That's good. You guys realize that I could go conquer you guys at any point in this entire Let's Play. You have about 21 soldiers. I could send about 30... Way more... <laughs> I'll, I'll simplify it. I could send way more than that after you. And the zombies... <laughs> the zombies just keep popping up everywhere. They're, they're just not going to go away. They're always going to... I guess... This is kind of the beauty of the mod. Even when the uh, empires reform... The zombies are always going to be back, and they're always going to be back with numbers, and so there's always going to be this problem of zombies reappearing. And apparently, I'm just like, uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just like conquering everything, and I, I don't know how I'm influencing any of these guys. I honestly, as you guys have seen, done nothing to encourage these guys. Like, legitly nothing. So I don't know how they are doing this, I don't know why, but okay. And the upper house rearranged. Speaking of which, how does America's upper house look right now? How is the conservative, how is the Senate doing? Uh, so far we have the reactionaries, pretty strong, the conservatives, pretty strong, liberals, pretty strong, uh, it's still a very balanced house, it's still very much a two-party system right now. Uh, whew, we could do a lot of releasing, but I'm not really particularly keen on that kind of thing. I like to keep all my land. <laughs> Personally, so let's go send this soldier over there. Yeah, we have a three armies that we're keeping one near New England one near uh, the south and one near the west Yeah, that works very well actually to keep the world very safe And I think the next thing we should be worrying about is how the heck are we gonna get this stupid like Palma to a state. I mean seriously This could instantly become a colonial office. We just need Incorporating a state costs 20 colonial points. What? Really? Okay, if it costs 20 colonial points, I'm gonna quickly get to a state then. Because I really, if this could be a state, we could like increase our natural debt by a lot. Pinkman's detective agency! Pinkman's men who have proven themselves effective at solving train robberies and capturing counterfeiters 
am now turned to working as strike breakers and infiltrating such secret societies as the Molly Mangos. We support them, okay? And Panama is about to become our first state from the colonies that, that is going to be admitted into the Union. Which, I have no clue how we are organizing the flag right now, but that's not the most important part. Actually, wait, what am I talking about? It is the most important part. When you organize a government, you should be working on the flag. And all this kind of stuff is what should I move, move towards next. Um... See, I don't really need much more into this part, because I'm already, like, the, probably the head person in technology, so that doesn't really help. So, let's start actually working on more industry, because I do love industry, and industry helps me out a lot. And I am owing so much to myself, but it's not even, I don't even care. <laughs> uh, I could tax myself out of this, seriously, but I honestly don't think that's the way out of this. You know, if I honestly stopped subsidizing any of my factories, that would probably help me a lot, but... It would also cost me a lot because then I'd have nothing. And that's not very good. Okay. Palma, are you ready to join me now? 400. Ah! You lied to me, game! You told me it was only two! Oh, gosh. I was so hoping that we could only. We could end this in about a couple of minutes, but no. They still lied to me. I thought you guys saw it too, didn't you? Because they said, like, oh, it was only going to take you 20 colonial points. I was expecting that. I was like, okay, okay, just 20 colonial points. I could do that. And then now it's like saying, no, no, you need 472. That, that is so jib. Okay, and uh, that means we're going to have to increase our naval range even more. But to do that, I'm going to need to, like, seriously cut spending even more. <laughs> I have to, like, cut my spending down to zero if I want to do that. Let's see, what is the biggest expenditure right now? Industrial subsidies. Yeah, it's, it's becoming a little bit too much. Cancel all the subsidies for now. Because that, that is becoming a little bit too much. I can... I can see where that's going. I will, let's see. A regular clothes factory, we can... Since there's a luxurious clothes factory right there, I think it'd be very profitable if we put that right... If we kept that, uh... This, not gonna fly. Uh, this in Michigan, yeah, we could keep this for right, for right now. Um, can factory in Pennsylvania, um... How is this not making any iron? You live in a... St oh, my God. Okay, this. Why are you guys building steel? This makes no sense to me. Okay, uh, destroy factory. Yeah, this the, that factory has to go. Mail in factory we can destroy, and yeah, I think the rest of these places are gonna be fine by the by themselves. Yeah, good job for micro and more cru morale crusaders. Gosh dang, I really wish. You know, one of my other. I guess one of my other pet peeves. Okay, this is one. This is one of those pet peeves moments. Holy shoot, there's a lot of factories that just closed down. Okay, let's see. Uh, America, lesser angles. We can actually keep that open because I don't ever think they're going to produce anything or have a population to produce anything. No, I'm not keeping clipper ships. Uh, steel and Oregon. I don't think that's going to work. In Oregon, it's not going to work. Let's see. That's Washington. That's Oregon. Let's see. Portland. No, it's not. Why the heck are you building a steel mill in Oregon? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, American New England. Uh, no. I'm not gonna- I already have enough clothes factories, so I don't need it. Quebec, building a can factory, I can see that. It has almost all the other resources, except for the iron. Which I don't know why we're not building iron. Minnesota, we can delete the can factory, we don't particularly need it. Iowa, again, why are you building the stupid can factory in Iowa? I don't see it happening, now please stop it! Texas, ammunition factory. No comment. <laughs> Arkansas, artillery factory. Uh, yeah, we could, we could definitely build one there. New Jersey, gun factory. Uh, yeah, we could build one. Uh, okay, Española can build a... No, actually, no, I'm, I'm canceling that one. You can actually not build that. Because that's a pretty stupid, like, buy. Can factory in here. I guess we could probably keep some can factories. This is actually making something. So I'm pretty sure there's some iron here. So we can actually do stuff. Why aren't you guys building a uh, steel factory here? That's a smart idea. Okay, uh, Indiana's... Wow, these guys just... This, that was just a terrible buy. That's a terrible place. Uh, this could survive. That's just a terrible... Why did they not group this up? Okay, yeah, seriously. Make, like, one state the uh, fighting state or the ammunition state, and then make one state another... Oh, gosh. Sometimes... 
Capitalists are stupid in this game, that's all I gotta say. Unless you are really microing everything, you aren't gonna get what you want. And more Morale Crusaders, really? Really? <sighs> I swear, these Morale Crusaders just will not learn. And yes, we shall out outfit an expedition to the Nile. With all those zombie infested people, we will go send people to go find out where the source of the Nile is, even if they come back all zombified. In fact, if they do. C oh. It's back already? Really? I, I just saved my entire world from it. Okay, let's see. Where is it back? Oh, shoot. Well, that's today's episode, everyone. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.